Hey, Toriano, uh, this is Chapel Fowler of the state. Um, just what are kind of your thoughts reflected on your first, you know, big game experience on Saturday? How'd that go? Um, I feel I did pretty okay. Uh, I got a lot of room to uh, fix and get better at and fix my technique, but the total, I feel I did pretty good. What was it like getting out there um, for like your first big series? Um, what were kind of the emotions like playing in Death Valley for the first time on a big stage? Um, it was fun. It was fun. That was my first night game in the Valley. Um, and beforehand, I never went to a Clemson game before I came here. So it was really fun. It was pumped. But when I was on the field, I had to block out all the noise and all the fans. Looking back um, at the film, you know, with coaches, uh, you mentioned some stuff to improve on. What are you kind of looking at specifically there going forward? Um, stay more patient, uh, not not getting out of there fast, uh, sl like slowing down uh, in man-on-man -man press coverage um, and like cover three when I'm playing off, try not to get out there so fast and start backpedaling flat, uh, fast, slow, that, slow it down a little bit. Hey, Toriana, this is uh, Gavin Oliver from the Clemson Insider. When you reflect on your college decision, what are the biggest things that drew you to Clemson and how would you describe your experience at Clemson since you enrolled in January? Um, what I looked into in the Clemson was uh, they're very family oriented and um, everybody down here treats you like family. And I like how Coach Swinney runs everything and how he runs the football team and how everybody has nothing but good things to say about them. So, um, that's really what brought me to Clemson. And another thing was um, they were low at uh, cornerback. So, I mean, there was no reason not to come here. And then uh, I've had a really good experience uh, so far. Um, I've been here since the spring. Uh, did pretty cool in the spring game and all that. Uh, did fall count. So I like it here, the state. Toriano, what's your relationship like um, with Jaden Lucas, obviously another highly ranked freshman guy at your position. How's how's that relationship been since y'all have been together? Me and him are really close. I was with him probably like 20 minutes ago. We had class together, but uh, he's really cool. I mean, we like bros. We talk about anything. We joke around, play around. We know how to get serious. Um, yeah. You're a St. Louis guy, correct? Yes, sir. What, what's the biggest difference or adjustment from St. Louis to Clemson, South Carolina, would you say? Just like day-to-day -day life or whatever? Um, the heat. Because uh, St. Louis, our weather is like one day it will be hot, next day it will be freezing cold or rainy. And then um, I'll probably say it's a lot more country out here. Gotcha. Um, with Mike Reed, your position coach, um, What's some of the best stuff you've learned from him over these first few games of your freshman year, technique-wise, that type of stuff? Really everything. I just try to take in everything he tells me because he's coached a lot of great players like A.J. Terrell and some more people like uh, Mackenzie Alexander and stuff like that. So all the technique stuff, I try to soak all that in like a sponge, really. You mentioned a few guys right there. Um, who, who are some other cornerbacks or defensive backs that maybe you look up to or try to model your game after or take some stuff from? Um, I used to like Jalen Ramsey, not used to like, but like try to model my game, but I got to a point now, I, I don't really try to model my game after nobody. I'm trying to do like myself. Hey, Toriano, Sam Newman from the Clubs and Insider. Uh, obviously, Coach Reed wasn't kidding when he said that you guys were going to have a chance to play early. How much do you feel like coming in in January as a mid-year enrollee has kind of helped you get ready for that moment? Um, it really helped me. Uh, I got a, a head start on learning the playbook, uh, better relationships with the coaches, getting closer with Coach Reed, and just getting to know the football team, everybody in the locker room and stuff like that. I feel like that gave me a head start instead of coming in in the summer. Anybody else for Toriano? Hey, Toriano, this is uh, John Blau with the Post and Courier. I mean, you talked about just trying to be yourself, not emulating anybody else. I mean, if you were to describe Toriano Pride, I mean, what is that skill? Um, I feel I'm a hard worker. I don't back down from anybody. Uh, and I just feel I could be anybody that stands in front of me, really. And I just, as long as I use my technique, 
use the proper stuff that Coach Reed taught us in practice, I feel like I'm, nobody should beat me, really. When you talked about um, learning kind of technique wise from that first game, I mean, how much do you think you can really apply what you learned from that game in practice? And how much do you think you can improve from last week to next week and, and so on? Really just watching film on uh, all the mistakes I made last game. And like this whole week of practice, just trying to work on it like every single day and uh, try to break bad habits. That's really what it is. Hey, Toriano, Sam Newman from the Clemson Insider again. How important has it been to just for you to be able to come in with a guy like Jaden Lucas and, and you guys obviously coming in the January with each other, having the chance to play early and, and pushing each other? I mean, how, how pivotal have, have you guys been in, in helping each other grow since arriving at Clemson? We've helped each other grow a lot. Like, we we learn off each other. Like, he might make a mistake. I might learn off of it. I'll make a mistake. He'll learn off of it. So we just build off each other.